Hey guys, Brockshield here, taking back up where we left off with the Holy Bible, King James Version. The first book of the Kings, commonly called the third book of the Kings, chapter 10. And when the Queen of Shiva heard the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. But she came to Jerusalem with a very great train, with camels that bore spices and very much gold and precious stones when she was come to Solomon. She communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions, that was, there was not anything hid from the king, which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom, and the house that he had built, and the meat of his table, and the sitting of his servants, and the attendance of his ministries and their apparel, and his cupbearers, and his ascent, by which he went up into the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. And she said to the king, It was a true report that I heard in mine own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom. Howbeit I believed not the words until I came, and mine eyes had seen it. And behold, the half that was not told me, thy wisdom and prosperity exceeded the fame which I heard. Happy are thy men, happy are these thy servants which stand continually before thee, and that hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee, to set thee on the throne of Israel, because the Lord loved Israel for ever. Therefore he made thee king to do judgment and justice. And she gave the king an hundred and twenty talents of gold, and of spices very great store, and precious stones. There came no more such abundance of spices as these which the queen of Sheba gave to king Solomon. And the navy also of Hiram then brought gold from Ophir, brought in from Ophir great a plenty of almug trees and precious stones. And the king made of the almug trees pillars for the house of the Lord, and for the king's house harps also, and psalteries of, of singer singers. There came no such almug trees, nor were seen unto this day. And King Solomon gave unto the queen of Sheba all her desire, whatsoever she asked beside that which Solomon gave her of his royal bounty. So she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. Now the weight of gold that came into Solomon in one year and six hundred and threescore talents and six talents of gold, beside that he had the merch he had of the merchantmen and of the traffic of the spice merchants, and all the kings of Arabia and of the governors of the country, and King Solomon made two hundred targets of beaten gold, six hundred shekels of gold went to one target, and he made three hundred shields of beaten gold, three pound of gold went to one shield, and the king put them in the house of the forest of Lebanon. Moreover, the king had made a great throne of ivory, and overlaid it with the best gold. The throne had six steps, and the top of the throne was round behind, and there were stays on either side of the place on the place of the seat, and two lions stood beside the stays, and twelve lions stood there on the one side, and on the other side upon the six steps there was not the like made in any kingdom, and all King Solomon's drinking vessels were of gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold, none were of silver. It was nothing accounted of in the days of Solomon. For the king had at sea a navy of Tharshish with the navy of Hiram. Once in three years came the navy of Tharshish, bringing gold and silvery, uh, silver, ivory, and apes, and peacocks. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches and for wisdom. And all the earth sought to Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. And they brought every man his present to vessels of silver and vessels of gold and garments and armor and spices, horses and mules, a rate year by year. And Solomon gathered together chariots and horsemen, and he had a thousand and four hundred chariots, had twelve thousand horsemen, whom he bestowed in the cities for chariots and with the king at Jerusalem. And the king made silver to be in Jerusalem as stones, and cedars made he as be to be as the sycamore trees that are in the vale for abundance. And Solomon had horses brought up out of Egypt, and linen yarn. The king's merchants received the linen yarn at a price. And a chariot came and went out of Egypt for six hundred years, six hundred shekels of silver, and a an horse for a hundred and fifty. And so for all the kings of the Hittites, and for all the kings of Syria, did they bring them out by their means.